Hello everybody, I'm here at the pond with version 3 of my Arduino hovercraft, which I finally think is ready for sea trials. So let me explain how this works, and we'll get it in the water and see how it does. The construction of this hovercraft is very similar to my last hovercraft video. For the body, I used this Ross foam board from Walmart for about 80 cents. Just cut that to shape. Use some pipe insulation from Home Depot's or Lowe's. For propulsion, I used two of these 1000 kV brushless motors, and I have them set up so that they counter-rotate. One important thing to note is that since I'm using two motor controllers, I had to splice the two white wires from those controllers together to go to one channel on the receiver. And if one of your motors is spinning in the wrong direction, all you have to do is swap any two of these wires, and it should spin the other way. For power, I have a 3-cell, 1-amp-hour battery. For the lift, I use this 4-wire CPU fan. For communication, I use this Dumbo RC transmitter and receiver pair that I picked up for about 30 bucks. For controlling the 4-wire CPU fan, I'm using this ATtiny microcontroller, which is great because you can program it using the Arduino IDE but it's not nearly as bulky as an Arduino. I have the servo connected to channel 1 on the RC remote. I have the propellers connected to channel 2. And the 4-wire CPU fan, I have the ATtiny that talks with channel 3 and channel 6. If I push channel 3, the fan will turn on, and if I dial 6, it will change the speed. Now you will notice that as I turn off channel 3, that the four wire CPU fan doesn't come to a complete stop. And I explained that in my other videos on four wire CPU fans and how to control them using an Arduino. I'll paste the Arduino code that I used for this ATtiny on my Facebook page. Here it is stuck in the pond scum, but if I turn the fan on, it lifts itself right out and off it goes. So here is the Arduino code that we will load onto the ATtiny. Uh, first of all, pin 3 on the ATtiny will connect to RC channel 6, which is the dial on the top of the transmitter. Uh, pin 4 will connect to channel 3, which is a push button. And pin 1 will connect to the blue wire on the 4-wire fan. Down here in the loop, we will first check the state of the push button on the RC transmitter. If the button is off, we will write a zero to the PWM channel connected to the fan. And if it's on, we will read the dial on the RC transmitter, which will produce a value between 1000 and 2000, which we will map to between zero and 255 for the PWM signal. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> 